Hello, this is our stove that is situated in our lounge. It's a small godam, it works very well, it gets hot very quickly and as the lounge is only around about 60 to 65 cubic metres capacity, it heats the room very very well. There is one problem with it and it is the fact that it just gets too hot and we often have to open the door into the kitchen or open the ventilation to upstairs to heat the bedroom. What I want to show you is an idea that I've got to store the heat and to let it out more slowly so that the heat can potentially make the room still warm in the morning. So this is the rear of the stove. The rear wall here of the lounge, all this wall is insulated and I've got this space here. So what I propose to do is put down the strawcrete base here. That will insulate the wall from the slab here and then it will also prevent the tiles from getting scratched and then I propose building this wall up like that and that will be stone bonded together with a lime mortar. I had originally considered making this wall in the stable and transporting it in afterwards but I calculated that the total mass of this wall was going to be somewhere in the region of 180 kilos, slightly more than I wanted to carry in over this wooden floor, and that's why we're going to build it in place. I want to chop this straw to make an insulated pad for underneath the wall, and I'm going to use my fruit crate chopper, which I made about two years ago, and there is a film for that. And all I've done is I've made the cutting angle a little more acute so I've reground the blade. And all I need to do Firstly I line the mould with some recuperated polythene sheet. The first thing to do is to make up the lime mortar. Now I've made a lot of this in the past for doing the insulation in the house and we use a cement mixer but it's just the same doing it by hand. Being very careful, wear eye protection and rubber gloves because this is still a caustic substance, not as aggressive as aerated lime but still quite nasty but this is hydraulic lime. What I'm trying to do is to add water into the lime powder, mix it in until I get something like a smooth lump free batter. When I've got that and I was happy with it I then add the chopped straw little by little and stirring at every stage just mixing it in until the whole of this straw is coated with the lime. Eventually you get to a point where there's no liquid left and the, all of the straw is covered with the lime. Now I've also found what's useful with this is as it coats the straw, the straw softens so it becomes a lot more usable, user friendly, it's not as stiff. Uh, and you actually find it will go into a mould much more easily than when you originally put it in. Remember that we're using natural materials here, so depending on what the type of straw you're using and also what the weather conditions are like, you're going to find it's going to, each one time it's going to be different. So once I'm happy with the consistency of the mix, uh, I can then spoon it into the mould. Um, now, just put it in into the corners and I found it was useful to have a wooden block just to tamp it more firmly all the way around the mould so it covers the polythene completely Although some of this film is speeded up, it only took about 10 minutes to do the whole job. So it is quite quick anyway. Working it in with the, a wooden tamper, push it into the corners. We want it to be nice and square. And then add more mix. 
as we go on. Now I totally guessed the quantity that I needed to do this and I had a little left over but I was surprised at how accurately I've done this. When the mould's completely full, everything's tamped down. Go across it with a wooden straight edge just to bring it all even to the top of the mould. And then to make it nice and tidy, I went round the edges with a pointing trowel. And the little that was left over, I put it into the bottom of a, a water bottle. Um, and I let that dry at the, in the same conditions as before, as with the big piece. And we'll have a good idea when the whole thickness of the straw crete is hardened fully. For more information on this project and others, visit the Green Lever blog. Thanks for <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for breaking the cup. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.